So you want to seal your record and you want to do it on your own. We're going to explain to you the steps that you need to take in order to seal your record in Nevada. What does it mean to seal your record? Basically, it's sealing the record so it's not available to the public or to law enforcement agencies. It's inaccessible and it's treated as if it never happened. The first thing you need to do is to make sure you're eligible to seal your record. There are certain time limits uh, or certain amounts of time you have to wait after your case has been closed or after your case has been dismissed. You need to know exactly what you were convicted of and then how much time you need to wait before you can begin sealing your record. We'll put those different times up on the screen so you can have a better idea of how much time you need to wait. So after you've decided that you're eligible to seal your record, then what you're going to do is you're going to request a copy of your criminal record from the police department. It's commonly referred to as your scope. You're also going to need to get a fingerprint card done, and then you're going to send those two items to the state of Nevada and request a copy of your criminal record. That sometimes can take a while to get that copy back, but you need that uh, official criminal record from the state of Nevada certified to include with the petition to seal your records. After you've completed those steps and you've got an co official copy of your criminal record, then you'll need to prepare a petition, which is basically a request to the judge to seal your record. When you complete that petition, there are many online resources that can help you do that. Uh, there's many guides online. Um, it can be kind of tedious. Um, it can take some time. But once that petition is prepared, that petition would then be sent to the prosecutor's office and the prosecutor is going to verify that you are eligible to seal your record and they're going to sign off on it if they agree. And if they don't agree, then they will not sign off on the petition. If they don't agree for whatever reason, you can request a court hearing and have a judge decide whether you're eligible or not. Assuming that the prosecutor signs off on your petition, then what you would do is you would file that petition with the court to make that an official court document or official court record. And then you'll send a copy of that petition to the judge or the court in order for a judge to sign an order that would allow you to seal your record. Once the judge signs that order, that's the good news, that the order would get filed with the court. And then that order would be distributed by you to all the different law enforcement agencies throughout the state, and then they will actually remove the entry from their database. And so then it's it's no longer in their database. And at that point, they'll send a letter confirming that they've done that, and then everything's been sealed up and you're good to go, just like new. The attorney would do all of that for you. So if you have an attorney, the only thing you really need to do, and even the attorney can do, you know, can do some of this stuff, but you'd need to get a fingerprint card and the attorney can even get a copy of your, of your record for you. So there's not much you'd have to do. You know, the attorney will tell you if you're eligible or not before they take your case and seal your record. It depends on what court your case was in. Some courts um, only take several months, but there are some can take a year or longer sometimes just because of the backlog and the amount of petitions that they're dealing with. From the time you hire an attorney or the time you request a copy of your scope and your fingerprints, just to send that to the state of Nevada to get your criminal history report, sometimes that takes two to three months. And then the petition, preparing the petition itself can take a little while, but not too long, as long as you have all the documents you need. At that point, the petition gets submitted to the prosecutor and that's when sometimes it can take a while for them to review it and sign off on it. And then it can take some time for the judge to review it and sign off on it. And then it can take some time for the state agencies to review it and remove from their system. It's so through a lot of hands. It's going through a lot of bureaucracy and a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of petitions and so it can take a while. We can do our best to push it through, but at the end of the day, sometimes our hands are tied. I usually tell people it's gonna take longer just to be on the safe side, but I would tell people not to expect it before a year. That's why I encourage people to get started when they're eligible because of the length of time it takes to complete the process. So a lot of people think, oh, I'm eligible. I'm just going to file these documents and boom, it's done. It's That's not how it works. Yeah. Are you asleep? <laughs> okay. It's pretty boring. It's really exciting. It's really exciting. This is why you this is exciting. Don't do this is why you, you, yeah. It, it is very time consuming. It can take a long time to seal your record. So um, it's, you know, if you are able to do it, it makes more sense to have an attorney do it.